Hello friends. In this lecture we will see what are activities in Android and how activities serves as the entry point for a user's interaction with an app. So let us start. An activity represents a single screen with a user interface just like window or frame in Java. For example, this is the first screen or first activity of Gmail app that shows an email inbox. Most apps contain multiple screens, which means they comprise multiple activities. Typically, one activity in an app is specified as the main activity, which is the first screen to appear when the user launches the app. Each activity can then start another activity in order to perform different actions. For example, the main activity of an email app might launch other activities that provide screens for tasks like writing emails or opening individual emails. Activities of one app can start activities belonging to other apps. For example, a browser app might launch the share activity of a social media app. While activities are often presented to the users as full screen windows. They can also be used in other ways as floating windows or embedded inside other activities. If you have worked with C, C++ or Java programming language, then you must have seen that your program starts with main function. In a very similar way, Android system initiates its program within an activity starting with a call to on create callback method. Actually, there is a sequence of callback methods to start up an activity and a sequence of callback methods to tear down an activity. We will see life cycle of an activity in further lectures. For more information, see the links in the description area. If you like the video, click on the like button. For giving suggestions, you can type comment and don't forget to subscribe the channel. Thank you.